Hey everyone, it's me Stagger. So this is part two of the review, and so let's go back to Game Watch Gallery. I the load uh, save state thing. Now last time I had like two points, and now I have an epic three points. Now that's awesome. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's a bit weird for save functions and stuff, but. Yeah, it works at least. Now I'm just gonna use this for like GBA games, really. Um, the rest I pretty much have co covered. Um, so anyways, now for Japanese games, Japanese games run pretty well, but I have no clue how to save other than save state. Pretty much all RPGs, really. Um, well, as far as I know. I just need a save state to save, which kind of sucks, but this isn't the first time it's happened to me. Like, you know, te freaking Telefang had to save Steve to save. So, yeah. Um, now the GBA functions aren't that perfect. Um, now the GBA functions aren't that perfect, but um, they're pretty damn good. Um, there's also like some other features you can add there, like, um, you can put, like, like for example, like, say you're playing a new game blind, or, wait, no, sorry, like, say you're playing a new game, so you're gonna need a walkthrough, right? And then you have to go to your computer, right? Nope. You can actually save a text file to your, uh, you can actually, um, with the patcher, of course, you can actually save a patch file to your, uh, you can, uh, yeah, sorry, you can save a text file to your, uh, GB, to your SD card, man, I'm jumbled today, and, um, then, um, after that, you can go ahead and, um, press LR start B, I think, and um, uh, and then you can get to the text and and then um, you get to the text, go scroll down to your to where you're at, and then like you're like, oh man, I should wear my glasses more often. <laughs> um, yeah, that's normally what happens to me. And um, and. Yeah, there's also like you can add some codes in there. Actually, when you play Game Shark, whatever you want, um, whatever you want, really. Um, and that's pretty much all I know for now. Um, I am still learning some of the functions here. Um, my, I gotta give credit to. The person who taught me this, um, I'm gonna look up his name right now. Oh, uh, you can't have internet on the, on the thing, of course. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I give credit to Ichigo3223, he, he's the one who taught me most about it, and also made me realize that, that the adapters weren't minis. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, overall, I guess I would give it like a seven out of out of ten because um I don't know it's it's good it's good and all, but some of the stuff is just it's just weird um like seriously uh whoops like. Even for some odd reason, like once you press L R select on a mother one plus two, it just shuts off for some reason. Um, like it's not perfect, but it is pretty good and all. Like I said, um, just um, wish it had like a little more. Um, like I just wish it could be like a little more better um, than than what it's. Um, giving so 
yeah and also the fact that you need to that you need a couple of things just to make it just to make it work and uh and that the mini sds aren't aren't available in stores anymore you have to get them online or maybe your maybe your parents or your grandparents or whatever has one or whatever and yeah so yeah this is pretty fun um and yeah so i'll be seeing you oh there is another thing i forgot to mention is that like the battery runs uh it, it runs um the battery a little more but it's nothing really to worry about like you know it's just like instead of 12 hours like normally it just it's just down to six but you know that's that's still a long time so yeah Anyway, so, yeah, I'll be seeing you.